Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bill Chen. I'm Nimikong. I'm Chan. In this class, I'll read to all of you. Chap. 17 sec, 4 of Jane, an autobiography. Ass. Oh. Jane Eyre, an autobiography. Shilla Brunt. Trap. 17 sec, 4. Must. Then. We be continually that we are forever sundered gen yet. While I breathe and think. Coffee is ended. The ladies. The gentlemen in toad have become lively as larks. Conversation waxes brisk and merry. Colonel Dent and this too. They shouldn't argue on politics. Their wives listen. The two proud directors. Lady Lynn and Lady Ingram. Confabulate together. George O'Am. By the by, I have forgotten to describe your very big country gentleman stands before their sofa, coffee cup in hand, in a word, whiskey. Frederick Lynn has taken a seat beside Marie Ingram and is showing her the engravings of a splendid volume. She looks smiles now and then, but apparently says little. Ingram leans with folded arms on the chair back of the little and lively emission. She glances up at him and chatters like a wren. Him better than she does Mr. Rochester. An ottoman at the feet of Louisa. Atlas shares it with him. Is trying French with her. And Louis laughs at his blunders. With a more blanching grim pair. She is standing alone at the table, bending gracefully over an album. She seems waiting to be sat. Will not wait too long. She herself selects a mate. Wiste. Rochester. Having quitted this shins. The table. She confronts him. The mantelpiece. With say. Rochester. Then. Such a little doll as that. Pointing child. Anne. I could not afford it. Oil. Governess for her. I saw a person with her just now as she gone. Oh. Ah. Uh. There she is still. Behind the window curtain. Ah. Uh. Of course. I should think it quite as expensive as more though. Further should I say. Hoped. The illusion to me would make Mr. My way. And I involuntarily shrink farther into the shade. Turned his eyes. I have not considered the subject city indifferently. Before him. Well. You may never do consider economy and common sense. Should your mama and the chapter of governesses. Mary and I have had. I should think. A dozen at least in our day. Detestable and the rest ridiculous. And all in Cuba they not. Did you speak? The young lady thus claimed as the dark special property. With an explanation. My dearest. Don't mention governesses. The word makes me nervous. I have suffered a martyrdom from their 
impotency and caprice. Maestro bent over to the pious lady and whispered something in her. Ears paused from the answer elicited, and Athemata's trace was present. Tant by such a ladyship her good. Then, in a low tone. Tear I noticed her, I am a judge of. Fies in a me, are they, madam? inquired Mr. Rochester aloud. Privater. Replied she, working her turban three times with poor and significancy. Curiosity will be. Hast its appetite, asked Blanche, show to me. Mama. Tried their innocence. Not that I ever. Suffered much from them. I took care to turn the tables. To play. On our miss was sins and my screes and madam. Chobris. May was always too sleepy to join in a plot with spirit. Best friend was with Madam Jabber. Miss Wilson was a persickly thing. Lacrimose and low spirited, not worth the trouble of vanquishing in. Dirt, my scree was coarse and insensible, no blow took. Effect on her. But poor Madam Jabbert. I see her yet in. Her raging passions, we had driven her to extremities, but our tea crumbled. Bread and butter tossed our books up to the ceiling and desk. The fender and fire irons. Theodore, Baz, I do. Drawled Lord and Grim, and the broad stick used to cry out. Peach. Such cover blades as we were, we did end. Tito, you know, I helped you in prosecuting or persecuting your tutor. My face, mister. Finning the parson in the pep as we used. To call him. And I thought so, benefit of our discovery are Dead weights from the house. Dear Mama, they're got an inkling. Of the business tendency. Did you not, certainly? My best. Right depend on that, and tutor should never be. Tolerated a moment in any well regulated house, oh, gracious Mama. Spare us enumeration. Or arrest them danger. Of bad example to innocence of childhood, of duty and on the part of the. A hedge me to alliance and reliance, a companion mutiny and general blow up. Am I right? Baroness Ingram, my lily flower, you are right now then. No more need be said, Amyishton, not hearing or not heeding. This dictum joined in with her soft turn, low end. I used to quiz our governess too, such a good creature. Would bear anything, nothing but her out. She was never cross with. As was she, no, never might do it. We pleased, ran sack her desk and her workbox, her drawers inside out. And she was so good natured, I suppose, said Miss Ingram. Curling her lips sarcastically, the memoirs of all the governesses extent. In order to avert such a visitation, I again moved the introduction of a new topic. Mr. Rochester, Madam, I support. You on this point of bringing it forward. Signor Edward. Donna Bianca, if you command it. Then Signor, your. Ungs and other local organs of Ficforizio, cried she her. Head with all its cause as she moved to the piano. Eh. My opinion, the fiddler David must have been an insipid sort of fellow, I. Like black with wool bitter, spice of the devil in James Hepburn. But I have a notion, wild, fierce gentleman. You hear? Both will. Cried Mr. Rochester. Dent. On my honour. I am much obliged to you, was the reply. Ingram Pew. Had now seated herself with proud grace at the piano of her snowy robes. Quilly amplitude commenced to really prelude, talking meantime. Here. Appeared to be on her high horse tonight, her seemed intended to excite. Not only the admiration, her auditor is daring indeed. O'Day exclaimed. She rattling away at the instrument. Poor puny things. Not fit to stir a step beyond Papa's park gates so far without. Mama's permission and guardianship. Pretty faces and their white hands. And their small feet, a man had anything to do with beauty. Special. 
prerogative of woman her legitimate appendant and heritage are bought on the fair face of creation by as to the gentlemen let them be solicitous to possess on their strength and valor let their mutual behant shoot and fight the rest is not worth a philip should be my device interrupted i am resolved my husband shall not be a rival fall to me i will suffer no competition near the throne exact an undivided homage ship he sees in his mirror wister rochester now saying a mall obedience was the response here then is a corsair son to uncarcerates and for that reason take care then you don't please me that is a fring a premon in capacity bind they fear all flames in grammar to be clement ha explain commanded the lady pardon me madam no need of explanation sing said she and again touching the piano spirited style now is my time to Slip away, thought I that the number there arrested me. Mice. Fairfax had said Mr. Rochester possessed a fine voice, he. Did him a low, powerful bass, he threw his own feeling, his. Unforced, it to the heart, and their waking sensations strangely. Last deep and full vibration had expired until the tide of talk checked in. Instant. Had resumed its flow, exit by the side door, which was. Fortunately near into the hall and crossing it I perceived my sandal was loose I stopped to tie it at the foot of the staircase I heard the dining room door unclose came out rising hastily I stood face to face with him was Mr. Rochester how do you do he asked I am very well I thought I might have retorted the question on him be pretty I would not take that freedom i answered you as you seemed engaged nothing particular paler than you were as i saw at first sight nothing at all to the drawing room i am tired he looked at me for a minute and a little depressed he said what about nothing with a thing sir i affirm that you are bring tears to your eyes indeed they're there now shining and swimming and a bit of slope from the lash and fallen onto the flag if i had time of a servant passing i would know what all this means well tonight i excuse you but understand that so long as my wife to stay i expect you to appear in the drawing room of the evening it is my wish don't neglect it now go and send sophie for it good night Why he stopped to bit his lip and abruptly left me to be continued